Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In this video we are going to be starting a brand new build series. I'm going to be building a boat for the AI rescue service. Now for those of you that haven't already checked it out, the AI rescue service in Stormworks is a service where you can call in a helicopter to rescue you. Uh, it will airlift you out and then deliver you to any location in the world. Now I want to expand that service to also include a boat. Now I have a lot of boats but I thought why not build a brand new boat for the AI rescue service. So you guys are going to be following along with that. You can obviously build it also along with me. And we're going to be going from absolutely nothing to hopefully a full working boat in a few episodes. So with that said, let's jump straight into the workbench and let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get symmetry mode on. I usually like starting by building the hull first. So once again, up to you on how you want to do it, but we start usually with a hull. Once I've got that, uh, we want to get the length of the ship. So I'm probably going to go with around plus minus 50 blocks. This will change it once again. Just get the rough shape of your boat first. It's kind of like, you know, you're starting with a big block and then you're going to start scaling it down and scaling it down until you get to the right size. So we're going to go with nice length. Uh, let's do outwards. Let's just go and just go something like, I don't know, seven blocks out maybe. And then let's go and just fill that in. So we've got like a big square at the moment. Along with that, we can go underneath the boat and we can say, okay, well, we want to go maybe one, two, three, four, five, seven blocks, possibly something like that. Okay. So you see, I've got this like TP shape in the moment. Uh, and then you pretty much just want to start filling it out. Now I do want to have a little bit of a lip around the edge of my boat. So I'm going to do two blocks like that and then possibly just fill it in like that. Okay, so you can kind of start to see how the boat's going to look like. Now, it's up to you if you want to start at the back or if you want to start at the front of the boat. Uh, today, let's start at the front. So with the front of the boat, the first thing you want to do is you actually want to design your first curve or your curve of the bow. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to start here at the front with symmetry mode on and then I start stepping it back. So you can see how I've got the step at the moment. Okay, so I've got these one, two, three here, and you can imagine that I'm going to be filling this in with some wedges at a later point. So one, two, three wedges. Uh, then it's up to you on how much you want to carry on. If you want to get more of a flatter nose, you can carry on going out like this. If you want to get a more sharper nose, you can start breaking it down by twos. You can break it by fours. It's completely up to you. You can see I've gone two, two, four, four. And we're going to replace that with some wedges in a few seconds. And you'll see how I kind of start to get the shape of the of the bow here. So let's go and put some wedges in. So one, two, and let's go and grab another one there, another one there. Okay. So you can kind of see how I'm getting that shape. Now, as I said, you can make this sharper, you can make it more blunt. It's completely up to you. So I'm going to carry on by doing the rest of my little lip that I have here at the front. Okay, so we're going to go something like that. Uh, but as I said earlier, I actually want this to be raised by one. So let's go maybe over here and let's go and do some more of the lip here in the front. Now, a quicker way, if you didn't want to actually rebuild this completely, what you could do is grab your selection grip, grab that, extend it over the front of your bow, the top section like I've just gone done now. Copy it, paste it, go up one block and paste it in. Okay, and then you've got another duplicate right there. So you can see how this lip is going up. Now what we can carry on doing is we can carry on building it until about maybe here. And maybe then go and grab like one by four wedges and put something like that. We could also go here and possibly add a, another one by four wedge. Okay, something like that. So you can see how I've got this lip to the front of the ship. Once again, you don't have to do that. The next thing we want to do is we want to carry on building the front. Now you can offset this. You don't have to. It's completely up to you. I think I'm going to offset it. So I'm probably going to, instead of building directly underneath here and going down, for example, like instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go about one back and then do that. So I've got a little bit of a lip here at the front. So I'm going to start off. Let's start by using maybe the one by two permits. So something like that. And let's start doing that. Okay. So you can see how I'm starting to get that curve. We're going to transition into a two by two because that's what I've got over there. So we're going to transition into a two by two and then go back one. Once I've got that, let's transition into maybe a two by four. Switch it around, rotate it, and then bring it back, bring it back, bring it back until we meet that point over there. So you can see how I've met that point now. 
Okay, and we can obviously carry on building this up all the way to the back. Okay, so now we're going to carry on doing that all the way through. So once again, it's up to you on how you want to do this. I think for now, let's actually start working on the side part because that will determine what I'm using there. So we're going to go for something like that for now. Uh, let's go down into another one, down the one, and there we go. So let's go and use a one by two wedge over there and bring that all the way to the front. Let's go and grab another one by two wedge, for example, bring it all the way to the front. And I think I'm probably going to delete this extra piece at the bottom. I don't want to go for that far down. Okay. Uh, once we've got that, we can obviously get the bottom of our ship done. Now we could maybe use, instead of using a one by two, one by one wedge, we could have used like a one by two or one by four. In Stormworks, it's better to have a flatter hull at the bottom. It just helps with stability. You don't have to, but just once again, from my experience, it does help to have a flatter hull. Now that we've got that, we can obviously go and carry on connecting all of this. So we can go and rotate this and just start doing that really much and making sure all of this matches. So we can transition from using a two by four pyramid into like a one by four pyramid. And let's go and grab that and just keep on doing that. So you can see how I've got that nice piece there. Carry on doing it until we get to this piece and we're gonna go there. Okay, so that takes care of that whole part. Now all we have left is just this piece here. Now we could have carried on using that, but I wanna get a little bit of a nice sharper curve here in the front. So I'm actually going to transition from that here into a one by two, which actually does match. If you go here, you can see that we can transition into a one by two and go up. And now we can just repeat that same process until we go to there. And there we go. And now you can see we get to there. Let's go and add another one here. So we're just going to go and repeat that process, take that off and then go up again. And now we come into this like diamond shape that's missing. So we can switch to a one by two wedge and we can now fit that in there perfectly. Okay, so you can see how we've got this nice little curve to the front of our hull. Now, once again, you could go and make this flush by deleting this off and starting to add the wedges in that you want. Or if you want to, you can add an offset to it. So for example, just skip one block, then delete skip one block then delete skip one block then delete skip one block delete and now instead you can have this little offset to it so you can see there now it's got this one little offset and then we can continue bringing that down like this and keep on bringing it down like that okay now i don't know if i'm going to keep that offset but that's what i have so far and you can kind of get the design that i'm going for with this you can carry on building it as much as you want now the length of the back of the ship is completely up to you i don't really know how long i want this boat to be uh let's just let's say this is the end point so we're going to go and just start rounding it off ever so slightly uh, and then probably getting rid of all of this that i don't want let's get rid of all of that and let's start filling that in okay and then from here we could maybe do something like that and then maybe something like that so you can play with this once again completely up to you on how you want the back of your boat to look like great uh let's go and carry on we're going to have some propellers here at some point maybe even some uh water jets could be something cool to add at the back of the boat we could also curve this up if we wanted to but i think for now i'm pretty happy uh, let's build the front or the actual cabin. So you can see I've already got a little bit of a design. So let's carry on building that. And let's maybe go to about there. And that's going to continue being built until about there. And I'm probably going to slope it inwards. So maybe there, 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 or something like that. Like that. And like that. Delete the extra pieces that you don't obviously don't need anymore and you can start to get the shape of what we're going for at the moment so let's go and build this up so i need four blocks for my cabin until we go to windows so we're going to start with that let's go and add some wedges here so we're going to do something like that possibly there we could go to like a one by four pyramids and let's see something like that and grab a one by four wedge do something like that and then 
continue that movement or that process all the way through. Now the problem does come into here, like if you wanted to go and put another one by four wedge here, there's nothing that really fits into this little block. There's no blocks in Stormworks that actually fits that. So you could either curve this more here, or if you wanted to, you could actually skip a block like that. So just skip a block, then add the one by fours back. And you can see now we can transition it into that and then add that in there. Listen, it's up to you. You don't have to do that, um, but that's just one way of getting past that point. And you can now see how we get this little shape here in the front. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. I'm probably going to add like a water cannon over here. That's what I was thinking. Let's see, can we add a cannon? Yes. Maybe like a water cannon over there. That could be a cool thing to add. We could even add one on the, on the bow there. But for now, let's stick with that. Uh, once we've got that, we're going to add some windows. Now the windows, I am definitely thinking of using some XML windows. Now for those of you that haven't or heard of it or haven't used them before, pretty much what means is that you're taking one of the current window pieces, like a two by two, whatever it is, and you're going into the XML file and you're editing the size of it. This is how you get some really cool shapes and styles uh, here in Stormworks. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to have a window that angles upwards. So something like that, it will angle up, but also at the same time curve. Once again, I'm not 100% sure on how I'm going to do it just yet. So we're going to skip the front part and we're just going to carry on building up. So I'm going to have some windows. Let's say that this is a window here, here and here. And then we're going to have another one maybe here, here and here. Cool. So that would be the window in theory. And then we're going to have some more here at the front. As I said earlier, these are going to curve forwards. Uh, so we're not going to do too much about that right now, but that, imagine that that's where the window is going to be. Uh, we can start getting the top and also the back of this done. I do want to have a door here. So let's just make an extra space for a door there. We could even elongate that, but I think it's okay at the moment. Uh, let's go and add some more pieces. So we're going to go with a maybe like one by two slope here. Could be cool. That could work. And then we could do something like this here at the front and grab like a one two by two permit, something like that. And then maybe close this in, then maybe add like another one here and then bring that backwards all the way back like so. Bring that back like that. And this is where we're going to have our door later on. And we could even switch that over to like a one by four. It's you can play with it, design it whatever you want to. We could delete some of those pieces there also if we didn't want them. Door here. Um, I think what I'll probably do is I'll probably use like a custom door frame. That's usually what I like doing. Because then you can get some really cool looking doors. You don't have to use, obviously use these big big ones that we have here in game. Especially when you're building a smaller boat, it does sometimes make sense to, to use custom door frames. So something like that, that should be big enough for a door. And then we can carry on entering the rest of the pieces for the door. So you can see here, I'm just adding in all these old door frames. This will also seal this, which is very important. And there we go. You'll probably add thinking of probably adding a window of some sort here so maybe window there could be cool we could even do like one like that possibly could also raise this whole section up by one i will just have to play with it and see how how the boat looks uh we will add some other things maybe some equipment or something over there and then in the back here is where we're going to add some seats and then some rails so for example, we're probably going to go and put some rails here at the back. So something like that maybe. And then let's use these ones and let's go and add a few of those in. So maybe skip three and then end it just about there, I think. So end piece and skip three, put it there. Come here once again, make sure we have our three spacing. And you can see how I'm just playing around with it, having some fun, 
uh, and just getting a relatively decent design out of it. It's up to you once again on how you want to build this. And then to fill it in, we'll just go and grab the rail extension pieces, pop that in and build it across like so. I'm not too sure about the back piece just yet, but that's what we have so far. I don't think it looks too bad. Uh, let's actually go and spawn in. Firstly, we're going to see if it floats. Uh, let's see if there's any holes. Well, let's delete all the extra pieces inside here that we don't need. You will need to spend some time deleting these extra pieces. These extra pieces, although you don't need them, they were kind of essential at the beginning of the boat build process because uh, it kind of directed us to where we needed to build. That's why I like having all those extra pieces in there. Cool. So now that we have that done, um, let's go and spawn in. Now, I think what's going to happen is the nose is going to be quite heavy or the bow is going to be quite heavy because that's where we have all the extra wedges. And you can see it's actually tipping over, which is fine. What you can go and do to counteract that is go underneath the hull here and you want to put some weight blocks in. So we can go and add a whole bunch of weight blocks here. Now this will change because as you add your engines and all your equipment, all these things, it's going to change the weight profile of the boat. Um, but for example, let's just go and add a little extra weight at the back to counteract that we got more weight in the front at the moment. You can kind of see where the center of gravity or the center of mass is which is over here. We're going to try and get that into the center of the boat, which that looks fine. Okay, you can see the back is much heavier now, but that looks pretty cool now. So let's go into photo mode and let's just go and have a look, quick look at that and let's see how that actually is starting to look. So that doesn't look too bad. Uh, I might want to adjust the front piece here. I don't think I'm quite happy with how this is transitioning in the front, but uh, so far, I don't think that's too bad in terms of a quick build and i think they'll do quite well for a little little rescue boat we'll have a whole bunch of seats here at the back for extra crew we'll have the water can in the front just in case you're calling the boats so you can put your boat out of fire um and yeah what i will probably do at a later point we can do it now actually is we're going to grab the black let's do plain fill and i'm probably going to just paint the side parts here of the boat, uh, including this piece here at the back. I need to, so it's painting all of that. Make sure it's all black going around. That looks good. Uh, front piece is gonna get blacked. Uh, that looks actually pretty good. And we'll get some water jets or we'll get something at the back here to propel ourselves. I'm not too sure yet if I wanna use water jets or if I just want to use regular, just regular propellers. But uh, this is what we have so far. Now we could, if we wanted to, we could actually build this lip up one more uh, all the way around the vessel. We maybe started over here in terms of building it up. So you could do maybe something like that. It's gonna transition quite weirdly here, I think. But we could do something like that and then just carry on transitioning this to one by twos. I'm sorry about the black being so dark on the screen. And let's carry on transitioning it all the way to the front here. And then for this piece, we could add like a one by two wedge if we wanted to. Something like that maybe. And you can kind of get the idea of what we're going for there. Don't really know what to do with this piece. You can't really do much, unfortunately. But uh, that's what we have so far, and I don't think that looks too bad. Let's go and spawn that in. You can see that little lip in the front there. Not too bad. So guys, uh, that is where we're at so far with this first part. Uh, I think that's probably a great place to finish off this little first episode off with. We've done quite a bit. We've built the hull. We've got our cabin in. We've got the rough shape of the boat, which I wanted to do in this episode. Uh, and the next episode, we can carry on with the detailing and start removing some of this extra, extra stuff we won't want. We can obviously refine our shapes a little bit better uh, and then st obviously start adding the seats in, start making sure we've got enough space for the engines, etc., etc. So guys, that's a great place to end this episode off with. Give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. If you don't want to miss any of my future content, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon, obviously, to get notified of any future videos. And until the next episode, we will see you then.